In this video tutorial, we'll discuss how to add a Buffalo Link Station or Terra Station NAS device to a Windows Active Directory domain. To start, the best thing to do would be to log in using remote desktop connection to your domain controller. From your domain controller system properties tab, as shown, you can collect most of the important information about your domain. So in my case, the domain is bv.com and the domain controller's host name is brian-dc for a fully qualified name of brian-dc.bv.com. This is pretty much most of the important information that we'll need uh, before we add our TerraStation or LinkStation device to the domain. Alternatively, in Active Directory users and computers, you can see that I have a bunch of users set up uh, somewhere, you know, over 2,000 users have been configured. So we'll go ahead and log into this domain and we can be able to use those users for our permissions. So the best thing to do at this point is to log into your TerraStation or LinkStation admin GUI. That can be done through uh, Buffalo's NAS Navigator software, or you can simply type the host name or IP address directly into a browser. And you can log in using your uh, admin login and password. By default, you'll be logged into uh, your share management and your folder setup. So I have a couple of folders already set up here, but of note, I'm in the work group, so I'm not on a domain. This is how it would be configured from the factory. To change to log into a domain uh, controller, we need to go into the network uh, settings area. And then we will go to the work group slash domain sub, uh, sub tab. However, before we do that, we just want to verify that our DNS configuration is accurate. So in this case, 192.168.7.37 is the DNS server that's on my domain controller. Um, per how Active Directory works, you definitely want to make sure your DNS is resolving to a domain controller. So please verify that one of your DNS, uh, whether set static or through dynamic, is going to a domain controller in the domain. Once that's been verified, you can click on the workgroup slash domain sub tab. From here, you can see that we're in a workgroup environment, uh, pretty much a basic configuration. To change this to Active Directory, we'll want to press the modify settings button, and then we'll want to click the radio button for Active Directory. Now, this is where it gets a little bit uh, interesting, and, and you want to make sure you're typing in things the right way. Um, so what I'll do is bring over my remote desktop connection and bring this in to the right. So for the Active Directory domain name, we just actually want to type in just the domain name before the .com part. So this in case will be BV. For the DNS realm name, we want to put the entire uh, qualified domain name, which is BV.com. For the Active Directory uh, domain controller name, we want to put Brian-DC or the uh, host name of a uh, domain controller on the network, which was already uh, populated for me because this has been on the domain before. Now we need to provide a domain admin username and password. So this is not the ad admin name or password for the Terra Station or for your local PC, but a actual domain admin account. So I will use the default administrator uh, domain account and its password. And uh, most people will not use WINS, uh, but if you do use WINS in your domain environment, you can provide its server IP address as well. Then we'll press the save button and it'll actually join us to that bv.com domain will take about a, you know, 30 seconds to a minute to complete. But now you can actually see, instead of saying work group name over here, it now says I'm on the domain BV. Now, once you're on the domain, you can continue to use the device just like you would. Uh, if you go into the users and groups area, you'll actually see now a domain users and a domain groups. It's important to note that the TerraStation and LinkStation still allow you to use local users and groups as well as domain users and groups. So in this case, my local user, which is uh, part of the ACL for the TerraStation itself, I have a Brian account. Um, if I click on domain users now, now again, I have uh, something like 2,400 users, so it's going to take a long time for this list to populate. But you can see all of my users uh, here. Um, and uh, we'll go all the way down and probably see uh, you know, 1,000 plus users. And you can quickly type uh, the name of a user and uh, find it there. Um, if you look, I have a user called Brian on the domain. So if I type Brian in, it'll come up and show Brian. Similarly, if we click domain groups, we can see all of the groups. So I created a group called marketing earlier and I added some users to it, as well as all the default uh, domain groups. So if I want to create a folder and use these permissions now, it's a very similar process to where I can go in and either create a new share or modify an existing one. We'll name this domain test. Um, and if I click access restrictions, I can add a combination of local users, groups, or domain users or groups. So if I wanted to add my Brian domain account, um, I could click on domain users and press the add button, and that same list will come up. 
Now, it's possible that all, you know, 2,500 in my case won't show up here, but they will be searchable. So I can type in uh, Brian and it'll actually type that in. Um, and you can see the entire scroll list of 2,338 users. So I can select a few of these, press OK, and it'll add it into the uh, um, access restrictions. And these are set to be read only, so I can change these to uh, read and write uh, or read only. And then when I'm done, I can press the Save button, and then that share will be deployed with those credentials. If the user Brian changes his password, uh, it will automatically change. It will not have to be changed. So that is the advantage of using uh, Active Directory system, and it is completely preserved with the Terra Station. So that's how to set up Active Directory uh, integration with a Buffalo Link Station or Terra Station NAS device. Thank you for watching this video.